Hello everyone, this is Karen from Reformation Home. I just thought I'd hop on and give a quick tour. Um, and also I'm going to do the Goodwill Challenge, or show what I did for the Goodwill Challenge. Um, so I'm just going to basically, I'm not going to do my whole house, I just do the dining room and the living room for the most part. So um, this is in no way a perfect house tour. Um, I'm not a perfect person. <laughs> I have a baby and a husband and um, yeah so this is just real life and if I were to wait till my house was perfect it would never happen so anyways let's just get right into it I'm gonna start with my dining room table and I have these chargers from the dollar store I'm sure you've all seen these guys um, unfortunately I broke one recently so I have that right over there behind my teapot and I'll just pick up another one. Um, I don't even remember how I broke it, but I did. <laughs> so for the Goodwill Challenge, I picked up, actually my mother picked up, this really, really sweet little box, wooden box. And I'm just going to turn. And then I just filled it up with stuff I already had or from the dollar store. And so we have these white poinsettias, these ornaments, and yes, I know they look like eggs, but I don't know, I like it. I think it gives, you know, some more texture and um, stuff going on. So we have these berries, and these big berries I already had, and then some just fake pine stuff, and yeah, I really like how it turned out. And I really love this piece. I can do different things all year round. This candle is from Aldi's. It's only $4 and it actually smells really good. It's not super overpowering, but I I like it that way. I don't like super, super, but it has a nice scent. This tablecloth is vintage fine. My sister got it for me. Well, she found it and gave it to me. And I just love it. I think it's so sweet. Um, and then above, above excuse me, above my dining room table. I just have some crystals hanging from the chandelier, some icicle crystals. And then back there, I have a little village. I'll do a close up, but I don't want people to be able to see the photos back there. Those are Christmas cards. And I just want to respect other people's privacy. So anyways, here is my buffet. Most of the stuff is on here all year long. I just kind of threw some extra Christmas stuff in there. That nutcracker is from my mother-in-law. This little crystal uh, bowl. I just have some peppermints in. Uh, also in the Goodwill Challenge, I guess. I got this for $1.50. It was brand new in the package from Hallmark. And my husband actually really wanted it. But it would have been a really great gift for a swap. But he really liked it, so I just kept it. Um, and then that little penguin back there, I actually got for free. I think he's super cute at a, um, like a yard sale at a church, but they were just trying to get rid of stuff at the end and it was the middle of summer. So I got the cute penguin. I also picked this up, but now we would be exceeding the Goodwill challenge for $2 and I think it is gorgeous. Um, it's really pretty. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, and yeah, I might actually give that as a gift, but I'm not sure. Um, I haven't uh, done this yet, but I'm probably going to add some kind of um, Christmas or probably actually winter um, decals around that. Maybe just some snowflakes or something. But that's a um, frame from Target that was on clearance for $7 with just a little... Um, dollar store sign in it or print in it okay and these you probably have seen at the dollar store a little church I don't know if you can see that guy in there dollar store this I got from Walmart and this I actually got for my husband it says beer pub on it um, that one's from Walmart but most of these are from the dollar store except those two items. And then I put these in here so that if my son got a hold of them, you know, he could actually enjoy them and play with them. So yeah, so I had that little village up there. Oops, trying not to show the Christmas cards. And I just have those up all year round. Um, right now that has a prayer on it from our liturgy. I try to change it out periodically, but that was um, a prayer from our liturgy a couple weeks ago. And then I just have this 
Um, it's just been sitting there for a while, but it matches the wall and it kind of has, you know, this something over here. So now that's my son's ball pit. Yes, he is spoiled. <laughs> I just never take it down. Actually, I'm mostly just lazy. Um, now this is my hutch. I'll just give you an overview. And then I just have a little hot cocoa station on here because I just had a party. And so we have just some the fix-ins that go with it. I got these at Walmart. These are actually from last year. Probably got them on clearance. I don't really remember, but they're really cute napkins. Dollar Tree this year. And then these were a gift for our wedding. They're really nice quality. Um, the second tier, Target a couple years back. Me and my husband are coffee people. Thanks, a latte. I really like these because they're rose gold, but they also have all different patterns. My husband gifted me this for my birthday. And then this um, is also rose gold. I think I got this at TJ Maxx. And then just some little candles. My friend made me this. It's super sweet. It's cross stitch. I have these little figurines there. And then this crock that's, I think, uh, well, it's definitely uh, made by, like, it's not manufactured. It's a real deal. My mom picked that up for me. And then this decanter, yes, we actually use that occasionally. <laughs> okay. So that's basically my dining room. And then that picture's just been up there for a while. Those are basically me and my husband's engagement photos. I have this really cool um, columns in my house. So this year, we'll start... Do not mind our office, it's a little crazy. So I just have these two Dollar Tree Christmas um, trees with, these came in a pack from Walmart. My mom gave me a ton of extra um, stuff she had. And then I had, I actually only have one of these. So I put that on there and I put a little bow on the top. And then this one's a little different with some of the similar things. Um, but I don't have a skirt for that, but I did put this little figurine my husband's grandmother bought me when we had Matthias. So I tried to make it similar, but not. I actually like that it's not exactly the same. And then this is our fireplace with out a actual fireplace in it. But it's still really cool. I already stuffed my husband's and my son's stockings. And I don't even think my husband's noticed, which is a good thing. And then I just have a couple ornaments hanging from, ooh, the sun just went away. Hanging off of this, I mean, this is pretty fake looking, but once I wrapped it in this stuff, and once you take a step back, it's not so bad. <laughs> I just have a little nativity scene in there, in that little lantern thing I made from dollar store products. Um, I have these little acorn, candles and I have these crystal candle holders but I don't know what I'm I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna put in there and then those lamps my mom actually bought me because they went with the aesthetic of the house so yeah that's my son's toy chest was my blanket chest <laughs> turned into his toy chest surprise surprise now this is our actual Christmas tree and yeah I tried to go with a little bit of blue not only because we have a boy, but um, I just, I really like this blue as the accent color in my home. And then his little elephant, baby's first Christmas. His first Christmas was last year. He was two days old, three days old actually, barely. And then this wall's always the same. I've considered adding to it, but first I want to get a TV before I figure out what to add to it. This is pretty standard for what uh, we have going on. Got my guitar back there. Um, well, my bass back there. And then um, that I got on Facebook Marketplace. Somebody was moving. That my mom bought. Basket my mom bought. Uh, and then some blankets in there. And I'm sorry that the lighting's so weird. But yeah, I plan to put a TV there. We usually actually have the laptop there, and that's what we watch um, movies on. We're not huge TV people, anyways. And then um, I have that computer little laptop stand. I just, we kind of use it as a side table or sometimes for the laptop. 
And then this is my couch. I just recently got the two blue pillowcases on the end from Amazon for $5. That bigger one is actually a super good find. I got that at Martin's in Maine visiting family. I don't know if you know what Martin's is, but it's like a job lot or a big lot. And this I actually thrifted, um, I think before I was, right before I got married. And it was like, was super white, it was super soft. I washed it a few times. It's not as soft, but it's still uh, pretty white and creamy colored. Back there I just have a little white tree. Let's go back there. A little white tree and wrapped around it is this silver leafy garland and then I use just a couple more blue ones and in here I put just a bunch of stuff in there honestly um, just to make it a little more interesting and I put it in this um, really cool bowl I've used here um, off and on for our keys and stuff and then I usually have a mirror here actually but it fell off because uh, I had it on command strips so I'm gonna have to put that back up and then this cross I, um, my husband picked it out. He really wanted a really nice cross for the house, so he picked that out. Um, and then we have this sign I got at a dollar store, Peace on Earth. And then on the other side of the door, hold on, let me unlock this finicky door. I have this sign. I'm not sure where I got that. I think I got that last year at um the dollar store i'm not sure so yeah this is the house for christmas um i didn't want to go too crazy but i went probably a little more overboard than i originally planned so again just pretty christmasy well i hope you guys have a wonderful christmas and um just remember uh, the great mystery that God has come down to us in the man Jesus Christ and he has lived the life we could not live and died to pay for our sins and rose again um, vindicating himself as the true son of God and that he is now reigning on high with the father and he intercedes on our behalf every day and I pray that you remember this this holiday season God bless